We at North Andover Public Schools care about the safety of our students, faculty, and guests. In an attempt to prepare our schools for the unlikely event of a school shooting, we have created this video in partnership with the North Andover Police Department to help ensure safety and possibly save lives. In this video, we explain ALICE, the program adopted by the NAPD to help train students and staff to react to an event. The acronym ALICE stands for Alert, Lockdown, Inform, Counter, and Evacuate. These are not sequential steps, but options available to promote safety. By learning these techniques, anyone involved in a shooting will be able to choose the most appropriate course of action in any given moment. In the event of a shooting, teachers will need to make a decision quickly and students will need to work with their teacher to do as asked as efficiently as possible. Alice will provide students and teachers with the skills they need to assess the situation, take action, and, as events unfold, to reevaluate. The keys are being prepared and working together to keep yourself and others around you safe. It's also worth considering that the techniques described in this video can also be used in the unfortunate event that you encounter a shooting in a public place other than a school. The A in ALICE stands for ALERT. The first step in helping the school to take action is to provide them with information. If you see a shooter or a suspicious person entering your school, share that information with someone in the office as quickly as possible. It will be important to tell them as much as possible about the appearance of the intruder and his location. This will allow someone with access to the intercom to get the message out to everyone else. From there, people around the school will be able to consider the information about the attacker and choose the course of action that will most ensure their safety. The L in Alice stands for lockdown. A lockdown is used when a class cannot guarantee their ability to leave the school safely. In a lockdown, the class must lock, then barricade the door in order to prevent an intruder from entering and causing harm. Use large, heavy objects and be sure to block the windows in the door completely. The lights should also be turned off so that it seems as if there are no students in the room. If your door opens out, use a belt around the hinged arm to prevent it from opening. After the door has been barricaded, students should move to the portion of the room farthest away from the windows and out of sight. Most school shooters are looking to inflict as much damage as possible in a short time. If a classroom is blocked, they will most likely move to another location. If an attacker is intent on entering your room, a lockdown will keep you as safe as possible while buying time for other actions, like escaping through the windows. If you should find yourself in a hallway during an event, and feel you can't evacuate, try to get into a classroom or a bathroom that can be locked from the inside. Just know that once a teacher has locked down a room, they will not be able to open it back up to let you in. The I in Alice stands for inform. Once you have ensured your own safety, use the opportunity to call 911 and inform the police about what is happening. Do not worry about overloading the department with calls. Any calls that can't be answered at the North Andover Police Department will be rerouted to an appropriate spot. While on the phone with authorities, inform them of everything you can about the situation. The most important piece of information is your precise location within the building and the location of the aggressor, if you know it. Speak slowly and carefully. Hello, 911. Uh, I'm calling from uh, 430 Oscar Street. It's the um, North Andover High School. There's a shooter in the school. I'm in room 2012. There's about 10 or 15 of us. Uh, the shooter was last seen near the library. Please get here soon. We're all really scared. Then, patiently wait for the police to arrive. When they have secured the situation, you can evacuate. But first, announce that you are coming out, and then calmly exit the building with your hands in the air so the police know that you are not an aggressor. The C in Alice stands for counter. If you cannot barricade the door, or if it is going to be impossible to escape, 
than defending yourself against the shooter is the last resort. Only engage the shooter if there are no other options. Use any books or other heavy objects on hand to throw at the shooter. This distracts the shooter, allowing you more time to disable them or to escape the room. If you disable the shooter, pin him down to the floor and carefully slide the weapon away. Do not pick up or handle the firearm. Take a trash barrel or any other boxes and cover the weapon with it. This helps protect you because it will ensure that the police did not mistake you for the shooter. Call the police to tell them that the shooter is secured in your classroom. The E in Alice stands for evacuate. If the shooter is in a different part of the school, the best course of action may be to evacuate. Only evacuate if you feel it is safe to do so. Before you leave, announce that you are coming out. As you exit your room and the building, keep your arms in the air so that the police don't mistake you for the shooter. Your school may have a designated rallying point. If possible, proceed directly to that point. While evacuating, you must remember the police are trained to act quickly to subdue the shooter before helping anyone who might be hurt. Under no circumstances should you use cars to leave the school grounds. This will create a traffic jam that can delay the emergency response. Remember, Alice is not a step-by-step -step plan, but rather a series of options. It will be up to you to evaluate the situation and determine which option or options will serve you best. In the unfortunate event of a shooter entering your school, use the best information that you have available and decide how best to keep yourself safe. It is important to consistently re-evaluate the situation to determine if new action is needed. Using the ALICE strategies, you can improve your chances of safely dealing with a difficult situation.